Hey guys, welcome to the channel and this is Girls Frontline 2 Exilium. So we have here a couple of news um, recently and then CBT feedback and news as well. So starting off guys, we do have a press conference from the devs um, reflecting on what they should improve on the game after CBT3. You may click the source here. By the way, I'm going to be putting links to the description uh, for this video for this one and other links that are necessary for you guys to take a look at after this video. So moving on, we do have some quick points and news. Keynotes for this feedback or news is going to be an open beta with paid transactions will be available in September and take note everyone can participate uh i think this is only for cn sadly um hopefully not the case hopefully even global players can be able to participate um the the biggest hurdle usually that we have with cn games uh is going to be um the the requirement for a mobile number which is also from cn so um, I'm just crossing my fingers that when they say everyone can participate, meaning everyone, including global, um, looking really looking forward to join CBT for this game. I haven't, and I am dying to participate in the CBT. So also moving forward is Commander's Art will be reworked. Okay, again, I won't go through every detail of the things that uh, that was discussed based on the feedback you can actually just uh, read through this but there is a lot i'm not really familiar with the game in terms of gameplay i haven't played it yet but from what i've seen i'm very impressed of what of what they have done for uh, in the past few years or months that they have been developing this game i tell you guys this is worth uh it's going to be worth the wait it's going to, it's already cbt3 uh, there's another open beta coming in and I'm sure there will be a beta test for global as well So again all of these points um, you can freely read through the link that I'll be putting in the description um, Just want to go through commander redesigns here They have redesigned how the commander looks um, If you can see here we have some sketches uh, Snippets of what to expect uh, also, unfinished cutscenes from CBT were also discussed during that press conference. So, as you can see, very detailed in terms of uh, their, you know, the characters that they have. And this is the dorm system. So, they have a dorm system uh, going to be in place in the launch. And we'll talk about more on the dorm system. Let's go to their website so their website now is already updated so we have a couple of uh, milestones complete they have reached 4 million registrations by the way for cn um and as you can see here the bonuses have been updated and the test by the way the cbt the tinder test uh ended um this is a reminder ended on august 2 i think so let's move to the bottom one. This is um, a, sh a kind of a short detail on the characters. Um, if you can't read, actually, um, that uh, it, it, it needs a translation. But you can hear the voice acting here. And you can see a kind of a short um, display of the characters that we are to expect in this game. I'm going to be doing a, uh, a short also a short um present not presentation but a a video that i want to show you guys in terms of their animation updated as of cbt3 so these are your characters they will be featured in the video later so we can move forward with this so this is girls frontline 2 exilium and also for other news we have a cn date release on ios store of course, it's going to release on iOS Store. Definitely, um, this is going to be paired with Android as well. So, this is going to be... They're, they're aiming for a quarter for 2000, 
2023 release for CN. But as you can see here in the um, the App Store, the Apple um, iOS Store, it's uh, uh, pegged at October 23. So hopefully the, the timeline is still good. You have September for open beta test, paid transactions, then you launch uh, for CN because I don't want to delay the launch for CN anymore because we are going to be delayed in global as well. So that is my thoughts. So I'd like to, you know, I would be happy if they release in October. Hopefully we could play it as well. Again, crossing my fingers uh, on other news here. Um, GFL2 in CN is aiming to be released by this year and the release of its uh, overseas version is going to be in the first half of next year. So first half is so, so, so long. It's going to be from January to June. It's a lot of speculation as well. They will be doing global CBT as well. So definitely it's going to be a long wait. Um, I assume that they're going to max, max it out by June because they will have to collect data for CN before launching. And again, as uh, you know, it's going to be obvious they're going to be a they're going to be putting out a closed beta test again for global. Hopefully, hopefully I could go, go into that because I'm really dying to play this game. So as you can see, also girls frontline dorm release in CBT. Here are some pictures of the dorm. This is going to be exciting. I can't hold my excitement, guys. And also, I want to show you um, the map or the game itself is going to be XCOM type. It's going to be grid type. It's strategic um, in terms of uh, placement, in terms of elevation. Um, if you guys haven't played XCOM, it started as a PC game migrating to mobile. So this is the first one. I think after XCOM that uh, we will have the type of strategy game uh, in play uh, or to be launched in the future. So again, I'm very excited for this game. Um, I can't contain my excitement, guys. Um, every month that passes by that confirms everything leading up to global is really, really exciting. So they have 4 million uh, pre-registrations already for China. So. Again, hopefully we can join um, global soon or even at, uh, at most global CBT. So we will have some um, previews or skill previews of some SSR and SR characters. So let's just watch that now. I want to give my shout out to Blue uh, Meat for putting together this uh, video. Kudos to you, man. Um, without this, we won't be, you know, seeing these amazing animations. So as for as far as the character detail design, it's too detailed. It's going to be worth the wait, guys. Um, the shading, the light, the design, you know, the detail, the detail, guys. Can't state enough. The movement, the dust, it's its ridiculous. The detail is ridiculous. See? It's ridiculous. Wow. It was... Jiggly. Oh boy, can't wait, excited, that's what I'm saying. Lollipop, oops. <laughs> Bang. <laughs> gravity. Lots of gravity happening. They actually put a lot of care into, into this. Not very simple. It's very complex. This girl is... Familiar. 
familiar. Okay, guys. Again, can't wait for this game to be launching. And uh, hope to see you guys in other teasers and probably more information about this game. Thank you very much, guys. Enjoy.